What's good, y'all? It's your boy, The Answer Man. We back with another one, man. Little TJ, what's going on? What's going on? We have Vaughn from the rack with the footage of the protective custody for various reasons. That looks suspect. Now we got this footage here coming out. What is going on behind the wall? Y'all be the judge, man. Wack is going to comment. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Let's get it. Gave the information to the the, the R. Kelly emails. Mm -hmm. I got his work. Federal informant. Straight rat. Damn. Oh, yeah. He's going to come back on the appeal. Yeah. It was a big old conspiracy. They did stuff. Yeah, I got to work. I got the straight rat informant. Downward departures, all that. We got all this. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, I seen dude. I don't know what's going on out there in Chicago. Um, and you know what? It ain't even Chicago. The system is exposing anything that got any type of street credential, rapper, any of that. They exposing it. Only they can put it out. On right. me. <laughs> Interrogation on me. rooms, That's nigga. Crazy. We saw Wine Melly in there. All this five, six, seven years old. This is they gotta go in their archives and find this. <laughs> Somebody gotta sit back and say, you remember he gave us a statement, or remember he requested to go PC, or remember this was in there, had to sit on his lap. Go pull it and then actually go to social media and get the information out. <laughs> Why you think they, they doing that though? They trying to assassinate the character of these bro. Yeah. They look how else do you beat them? These is um, flashing money. They doing this private jet. Nigga, you got sitting back mad as a. <laughs> do you imagine what it is to feel like a. Like, shut up, little. <laughs> we ain't feeding you today. And then they look up eight months later. This <laughs> sitting in front of five million on the jet. Talking about, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. You officer. <laughs> that's it. Whoop to whoop county jail. Tupac started it. All you officers in the Clinton Correctional Facility, I know you feel me. Picture me rolling. Right? So, you know, I don't antagonize. I didn't see, I didn't see one or two officers write a book and put me in the book. Like, on some real, like, it's crazy how 25, 30 years later, they like, yeah, there's one inmate in particular that was different. It said it be the book. I'm like, oh, yeah, I was with that. Why? Uh, what, what about Keefe D? KPD came to see me. What you call it was there? Double. What's his name? Double talked to KPD at my studio. He talked to him. He heard a whole bunch of he shouldn't have heard. Double heard some on my mama he did. Asked him. But I don't know if he out yet. I'm going I'm to check. I know they. that was his house they raided. Messing with a guy. Let's, let's clear the air on that, too. That's like the number one thing people when want to I talk heard about. That that was the most goofiest shit I ever heard in my life. And I knew it had to come from somebody goofy or something. Don't never play with my name like that, man. I ain't got nothing against these people. I all the hoes. I love to death. Wait, wait up, wait up. Listen. <laughs> First of all, what's this name? Lil J? Lil yeah. J, listen. We are not disputing the fact that you love what we are doing is acknowledging the fact that you love a man's all right which makes you buy so i don't know what these young see these young think we stupid look mother we watch you would a trans sit a male sit on your we just watched you they released the footage in jail what a sitting on your lap. What the fuck is he talking about? I love. Okay. Well, you got a man on your lap. What? 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 The, what? I, what? What? Yo, once again, man. I don't know what's going on with the youngins out here. You know, I'm from a different time and place, man. I don't understand none of this. I sit back and watch the show. It look like they're trying to take down all of the so-called gangsters 
in hip hop. They tired of them out there showing off, no respect for the game, disrespecting everything, glorifying everything. The irony is they've made enough money off them so far and now it's time for them to go. So is a new era of hip hop coming? Who knows? Let's find out. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Till next time, it's your man to answer. We out.